are back with the vlog. I am hitching a ride, go and get my truck from the shop. Uh, I had some aftermarket performance brake system that I'm getting installed at Gino's Automotive. I uh, decided to upgrade the brake system since I'm towing my boat a lot and there's a big load behind the truck. So we changed out the front and rear rotors, drums. So hopefully the stopping power is a lot more stronger and safer as I go down the hills and through traffic. So we're gonna head to the shop and um, yeah, let's see how this goes. See you over there. Uh, check these guys out for any kind of auto service. Got uh, you, man. Got you. Yeah, these guys do it all. So they upgraded the brake system and um, they are fishermen too. It's a family run business. So like all the brothers and the mom, dad, they all operate the business and they can catch fish too. And they're subscribers of the channel. If you're not subscribed, subscribe now. Learn right. from the best. You always got to learn from the best. Right on, brother. Thanks Thank a lot. You. All right. Yeah. So we got the truck. Uh, I'm gonna try and get the boat out on the water tomorrow morning and um, see if we can chase some wahoo but yeah check these guys out Gino's auto service family run business these guys are super cool they're very humble um, they're new into fishing but they expressing the passion for it so uh, they do anything automotive I was able to get the truck the brakes installed and um, oil service all at once but they do pretty much anything besides like auto body but yeah cool cool group of guys and family but yeah so let's get the boat in the water see you guys in the water boom we are back we're in the water uh, we're gonna be doing some trolling today we got mr. pay red my boy over there Joe we're gonna go and try and catch some wahoo so uh, see how this happens it's wahoo season so there's a good chance we might get one or two and there's also some mahi around so we're gonna try that yeah the goal is to get some fish to eat and um, take it back home for the family so give it a go with the slut We're gonna start dropping lines. Uh, Joe's gonna set the lines. It's my deck hand today. He acts like the captain, but you know, he needs to learn his place here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what? Secret colors? Secret colors? No secret colors. No secret. You ready? Ready. Okay, let's go. Good luck, guys. Let's go. All we need is one. All we need is one. Beautiful day today, the swell kind of died out. We're blessed to come up north and uh, have some good conditions. Wish us luck, let's do this. today and I told him you know he, he had a day where he didn't catch any fish I told him that you better not be using the same lure and he's like yeah I don't like to change the lure all the time but you know sometimes fish they like shrimp one day chicken one day what are you running today I'm running on the if you can see to my um, left this is a pork belly and the short we got a bacon short ribs and a finger steak <laughs> All right, so let's see what the fish like to eat today. Oh yeah. Is that commissary or what, or payless? Commissary. Oh, there, it is. Definitely. It's early morning rock, they'll get the bacon first. <laughs> bacon for breakfast? Let's yeah. see. Let's go bacon. bacon. Okay, so we kind of had a slow run headed up for the Wahoo, so we decided we're gonna give it some time. Maybe the tide will change and the bite will turn on, but we're gonna, in the meantime, we're gonna do some uh, deep drop for 
hopefully some onaga or ehu or something something to eat so we're gonna make a drop here and um see if we can hook something dropping 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 We're hooked up, we're hooked up. Let's go, Joe, get down low. How low can you go? Bring him in, bring him in. Baka. Big boy. Yeah, you yeah. Know. Like so. Right there, that's the hit the nomad plug. It's a good like 20, oh, yeah. 20, 20 plus pound, maybe like 20, 23. We got one, finally. All right. Unfortunately, the bite was kind of slow today. Uh, I don't know what it was. We came across some Mai Mai, but they didn't want to bite either. So we're just gonna call it a day, and um, we're gonna head back to the house. And at least we got one nice wahoo. Honestly, it's about 20 in a 20 plus pound range. So you know, it's better than coming home empty-handed, but. Yeah, the bottom fishing didn't really work out and trolling kind of sucked, so we're gonna head back, call it a day, and uh, head back and see what happens next. Three, four, five. It's not bad. It's a nice one. Right about 22. Not bad. All right. All right, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, actually, to all you guys. Thanks for coming out fishing with us. We do have some new merch. Check it out. It's hooded and a light blue. So if you're looking for some merch, hit us up on Instagram. Message us. It'll be great Christmas gifts for whoever. I mean, you don't have to be a fisherman. They're great, super comfortable, hooded. Keep you protected from the sun, but yeah, that's it. Good morning, guys. I uh, literally just woke up, but I uh, gotta cut this fish, get a prep, gotta cut some up. I ran into my aunt recently. She wanted some fish, so I decided it'd like, be a good time to share some fish with the elderly. So I'm gonna cut this guy up, fillet it, portion it out, and um, we'll go drop it off to her, and then. Um, it is morning, so I'm actually gonna do a catch and cook and I make some breakfast for us, so it's gonna be interesting. This is fresh wahoo, wahoo. that I caught yesterday. Okay. I already cleaned it for you. Wow. I made some steaks so you can either fry or make soup. And then the bottom one is for keleguin or sashimi. There's already ready. All you do is slice. Wow. My you don't God. even have to do anything. You just put it in the frying pan. Okay, okay. <laughs> thank you for going through that yeah. process. So yeah, enjoy. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, so that was the good deed for the day. It is it is our culture to always share with our elderly or what we call Manamko here on Guam. And I haven't seen my aunt. She's actually my late grandmother's sister. And my late grandmother was like a mom to me. She raised me pretty much. And um, I haven't seen her in so long. I want to say over 10 years. I just happened to run into her um, last week. And she was like asking me, oh, you have any fish? Of course, they always ask me for fish. 
and I was like, all right, you got bumped to the top of the list since I missed her and I haven't seen her in so long. So I made sure that, okay, the first catch was gonna, first catch to share was gonna go straight to her. So, you know, especially the elders like that, like you wanna make sure the fish is clean and prep. You don't, you don't, you know, they're elderly. You don't want them to be out there trying to clean and scale a fish. Like, you know, it's, it defeats, kind of defeats the purpose of giving them the fish. I know it's free and whatever, but you know, they, you don't want them doing it. I can't even stand scaling a fish or cleaning a fish out in the hot sun on Guam. Yet alone them, like, it's always good to just carry on the traditions and show the respect to our elderly. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I got that out of the way because you know, it always feels rewarding. I think that's the most rewarding thing about fishing is sharing the catch and seeing people enjoy, you know, the hard work that you put into it. So, yeah, so with that being said, we're gonna cook it up for you. So let's get right into it. strangest things I have ever eaten. It's called natto. So natto is like a fermented soybeans, very like traditional Japanese dish. And it's, it's very simple. We're not really cooking anything. Uh, you know, wahoo, fresh fish. You don't really want to over season or overcook. So we're just going to kind of prepare it and uh, I'll show you what's going to go in it. So natto has a funky smell to it. It is fermented, it's great, it's healthy, it's a probiotic, good for your gut system. So if you're like me, you're active, always trying to stay healthy, try to choose like good healthy food to eat. So we're gonna make some fresh wahoo. I'm gonna dice it up and we're gonna add, mix in our natto with it and then a little bit of wasabi. To kind of give it a little spice. We're gonna season it up with a little bit of soy sauce and top it off with some green onions mix that together and you'll get this funky slimy consistency which most people really can't stand but I don't really care I like it and then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna top it off with some nice serve it on top of some nice hot steam rice okay so we're gonna give this a try it's pretty wild but the way I've been eating is I'm actually I got some um, fresh nori or seaweed just wrap it kind of like a sushi roll or something like that just eat it that way but yeah, this is this is breakfast. Okay. Check it out. Check it out. Ooh. Let's go. Strangest thing you ever eat. Comment below if you'll ever eat this or have tried not to. But super good. My mouth's watering. Yeah. Okay, the funky texture, but I like the flavor and um the seaweed, the nori, like just kind of like brings all the flavors out. Definitely has that umami. It's a very traditional Japanese dish. Like not a lot of people will eat this, but I don't know. I love Japanese culture and I when I first tried it, I was like, shoot, I'm totally for it. Wow. Mm. Oh yeah, you gotta do that thing. Um, you know, that's it for now. But you know, I was kind of debating if I was gonna actually put this video together because I was like, oh, I don't know if one fish is worth a YouTube video, but you know what? That's fishing, right? And we can't always catch. Uh, surprisingly, I guess it was just the moon face, but I was just hoping to get a little more than just one, but like we said, all we needed was one. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I um, hope you guys are enjoying their holiday season coming up. Uh, happy holidays from us, and um, hopefully you guys will see you guys on the next video. If you guys are new here, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit it twice. Thanks for uh, hanging out, and thanks to my buddy Joe for tagging along, keeping me company. He's always quite an interesting character to hang out with. Uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one. Shoots.